Welcome to this edition of DIY3Dtech.com. In this episode, we're going to be following up with this. Now, if you've been following along on my um, Open Slider channel, you've seen I've developed several different camera sliders based upon the uh, 608ZZ bearing configuration or skate bearings. And one of the things that I, I, I did as I started a while ago is to motorize this and take this to the next level. Now, one of the things for the motor, I decided to utilize just a straight up DC worm gear drive motor I got off of eBay. Uh, the reason for this is uh, I wanted something simple. I didn't want to have all the electronics of a, of a stepper motor situation. And the second thing is, is I wanted a lot of torque in a small package and this worm gear uh, unit gives me that. So it's it's 12 volts by um, I think 10 inches per minute, and so it does a nice nice speed on this. Now the other piece that I did, <clears throat> and I wanted to show this before I I box this up, is I got it got a, a DC speed controller uh, from eBay also, and so it's got a little bit of a little potentiometer to set to speed. And then it has the switch so back and forth I can control on off. I control on off and back and forth by the switch just by toggling it. And it actually fits very nicely in the hand. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of modifications and, and insert this into a, a chassis. But I wanted you to see it before I put it in, in, in a chassis uh, to house it. And then so I've added a small... Um, uh, tripod head mount on here with a quarter 20 bolt underneath and, and basically it moves back and forth so um, and then I've just got an old wall wart that I had laying around uh, to power it so nothing fancy there I do have a lot of wire so I can uh, you know from the from the actual unit to the board and then from the wart to the board I can get quite a bit of distance which is um, you know actually a good thing printed this all in yellow PLA. I think it came out pretty nice. I'm utilizing a 20 by 20 maker rail as the basis for this uh, in some uh, I think G2 you know printer belt I bought in bulk uh, for this. Now one of the pieces with these feet and if you go back to some prior videos I designed these feet in a way so I can mount these on a board. So one of the things I am going to do is get like a uh, 1 by 4 board mount this to it and in the center put a quarter 20 inch uh, lug so I can mount this to a tripod. It's not very heavy so I don't I don't think there'll be a problem but then that way I can uh, get some elevated shots and things like that. Otherwise it sits on a desk just fine. So um, let's let me go ahead and plug this in and you can kind of see how this works. Okay so now I've got this set up. I've got a small camera mounted on it on the uh, sled. I've got an object. Now what I do is I simply press the switch and as you see it starts rolling. And then I can adjust the speed of the pan. I can slow it down with the potentiometer. So as you can see it gets real, can get really really slow as it pans across the uh, image. So I have an old just scrap PCB board here that I'm uh, having it photograph and now put put it up in the corner and you can kind of see as it goes along and then again I can slow it way 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 down I can basically a stop then I can speed it way back up and so it gives a nice effect and, and feel so as it goes across and, and edits this and then again what I simply do is if I wanted to go back the other way I just flip the switch and back the other way it goes um, it's a little noisy. It's not too bad for, for the geared motor. The belt tension is pretty good. And, and again, I've uh, been pretty happy with this so far. I've uh, done a number of things with it because one of the things I want to do in 2017 is kind of up the game a little bit with some of the videos I'm doing and kind of get a little bit more depth and not only for DIY 3D tech but uh, for my drone channel and my um, all my other channels that, that I've got going on. So uh, this will be a nice addition. So what I'll do is I also have the parts for this all kind of put together up on Thingiverse along with links to where you can get the motor, where you can get the belt, uh, where you can get the bearings, um, where you can get the controller over here. So uh, again, it was pretty economical. I think this was around 10 bucks, the motor. This was around 10 bucks. Um, the belt probably about the same in bulk and the bearings 
I think we're about $15 for 30 of them off of Amazon. And then, of course, the maker rail. And then underneath here are the uh, actual uh, just maker rail cleats that hold this on. And so, um, pretty simple stuff. You know, just some miscellaneous screws and that kind of stuff. I've used the uh, number six screw here to bolt all this together. And I think these are uh, uh, M3s uh, tapping into the motor. So, uh, anyways, I thought this was very interesting. I've been working on this for a while. Most of this is designed up in Tinkercad. These plates I designed in Tinkercad and uh, uh, that kind of stuff. So, anyways, I'll have all this together on Thingiverse. And so if you're interested in building a camera slider, this, this is a pretty simple and straightforward build. Not a lot of money. Um, I definitely, well, what, what, what did I say? Uh, roughly about 10, 20. The rail is about 5 bucks, so about 25. About probably about 30 than the bearings, you know, for the four bearings in here. I don't know, another 10 bucks. So, under 50 bucks that I easily built this uh, motorized slider. Now, the nice thing about it is, now I've used a 500 millimeter uh, rail here. Uh, I can use a thousand millimeter rail, it doesn't matter. So, uh, I can get pretty fancy and, and do different things. And actually, uh, I'm going to do another version of this for a static mount um, because. If you look back in the videos, how I'm recording this up here, uh, I showed a video on how I built this out of PVC. Now, I'm going to build another one over the holidays out of this material. I already have it. And then what I'm going to do is do a similar mounting uh, of this. And so as I'm doing the videos like this one, I'll be able to do uh, panning type shots um, with it and that kind of stuff from below and you also notice a little bit different mat setup that, that I have here so uh, anyways uh, hopefully you found this interesting and if you did hey sacrifice the thumb give it a thumbs up I definitely appreciate it helps the channel don't forget our swag shop up in the corner uh, every little bit helps us out and uh, subscribe and with that we'll catch you in the next video cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects